gang rape case has become a defining moment for the world of juvenile justice. It has triggered off many debates in television studios and in print. But these debates have looked at the juvenile justice law in a negative context by revisiting the issue of age limit. What has been forgotten is a very important dimension of the juvenile justice law, its spirit of reformation and rehabilitation. <laughs> लड़की के साथ बलात्कार का वो लड़की कौन थी लड़की मेरे पड़ोस में रहती थी कितनी बड़ी है टेन टेन इयर्स की जो आइडिया जो आते हैं कैसा कुछ देख के कुछ पढ़ के हाँ वही कार मतलब इंटरनेट में कैफे में जाओ के मतलब साइट्स देख वे कुछ केसेस बहुत समझाया माँ बोले भी कभी हमने मानी नहीं हमने सोचा क्या ऐसे बोल दे रहते हैं ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता दे जाता मैं फेल हो गया था फिर मैंने छोड़ दिया था कोई तो पे मेरे दोस्त बन गए थे दो तीन उन्होंने के साथ मैं करने लग गया था क्या चोरी करते थे वो पैसे किससे कहीं से भी चोरी कर लेते थे कोठी में घुस जाते थे कहीं भी घुस जाते थे और तुम तुम क्या करते थे तुम क्या मैं नीचे खड़ा देखता रहता था कौन आ रहा और वो बड़े थे हाँ वो बड़े थे वो कितनी चोरी की होगी तुम लोगों ने मैं अभी तक तो पचास साठ चोरी कर चुकी हूँ Most of the perpetrators were one-time street children. These children are subjected to violence and abuse by criminals and drug addicts, which initially results in disorientation and delinquency. A 15-year-old boy has alleged he was intimidated and sodomized by six older children inside these toilets. फट्टा मतलब जैसे हम वो फोल्डिंग को फट्टा बोलते हैं ना, मैं उसके फट्टे बता वो मेरे से कपड़े भी नहीं धुलवाता था मेरे भी अपने भी मेरे कपड़े भी किसी और से धुलवा देता था बर्तन भी मेरे जूठे थाले भी किसी और से मजवा देता था तो उसने ये सोचा मेरा काम बनने वाला है तो उसने ये कहा मेरे से अब यार इतना तेरे लिए कुछ कर रहा हूँ तो कुछ करवा दे मैं समझ नहीं पाया इसका कहने का मतलब क्या कुछ करवा दे मैं सोचा ये पैसे वैसे मांग रहा होगा कुछ करवा दे मिला भी दिला दूँगा फिर मेरे को ले गए एकदम वहाँ पर मैंने उठला मैं लाइट्री में these institutions are meant to provide sensitive handling of children and contribute to their reformation and rehabilitation but do these institutions discharge their responsibilities at the homes we meet some juveniles detained for rape who say theirs was a case of teenage love gone awry ye rape nahi kar raha tha main usko shaadi karke leke bhag gaya tha ek mahine tak saath mein the unke to mere chacha na kuch उस, उसके घर वालों का ऐतराज नहीं था जब मेरे चाचा ने कुछ उल्टा सीधा बोला ना तो फिर उसकी मम्मी ने बाईस तेईस दिन के बाद अपलिकेशन लिख के थाने में दे दिया ऑब्जर्वेशन होम्स आर मेन टू ऑफर क्यूरेटिव सर्विसेज बट द शॉर्टेज ऑफ प्रोफेशनली ट्रेन स्टाफ इज अपेरेंट टेक फॉर इंस्टेंस द रोल ऑफ केयर टेकर्स एट ईच ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूशन वंस द क्लासेज आर ओवर द बॉयज स्पेंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द डे विद केयर टेकिंग स्टाफ It's a tough call for the caretakers who have to be parent, teacher, counselor and security guard rolled into one. काम बहुत है हमारे के टोकर के इन्हें हॉस्पिटल जैसे कोई बीमार हो जाए हॉस्पिटल दिखाना कोई डॉक्टर देखते चेक करते हैं तो उसके बाद लिख जाते हैं कि ये बच्चा जो जो भी ज्यादा हॉस्पिटल के से हॉस्पिटल ले जाना अब एक शिफ्ट में जैसे दो तीन केटेकर रहते हैं तो तीन केटेकर में एक दो तो चले जाए हॉस्पिटल और एक जना मतलब इधर उधर के इनके कपड़े वपड़े देखना साफ बातों बातों कराया नहीं करा नहाया धोया ये चीज़ देखना होता है प्रोफेशनल काउंसलिंग सर्विसेज हेल्प गिव अ सेंस ऑफ डायरेक्शन एंड प्रिवेंट जुवेनाल डेलिंक्वेंसी फ्रॉम बिकमिंग अ गेट वे टू एडल्ट क्राइम बट द एग्जिस्टिंग काउंसलिंग सर्विसेज आर इन एडिकुएट होम फॉर जुवेनाइल डेलिंक्वेंट डू नॉट एज अ रूल है constant follow up with mental health professionals it is imperative it should be on the panel not only on an requirement basis but also as an ongoing program evaluable program for the caregivers for the uh, managers of institutions where such uh, children are living i very strongly feel that each and every act of delinquency each and every act of deviance on the part of child must be very carefully recorded must be very carefully investigated and must be dealt with properly because if you don't do that you are laying the foundation of serious criminality society gets endangered as we meet juvenile offenders across delhi and bangalore 
we find their accounts reveal a disturbing trend on the ground. They tell us they have been let off by the police a number of times despite committing petty offences. Raja, who has committed a number of burglaries, says he was allowed to go free as his mother paid the police a bribe. I was doing a lot of crime, but I didn't get a case. My mother left me from the house. How did you leave the house? I was paid for the money. Who? The police. A child's first contact with the juvenile justice system is often the police when he or she is rounded up for a petty offence. The tragedy is that most of these cases are overlooked and no general diary is registered. However, senior police officers say the juvenile justice rules prevent the police from filing FIRs for petty offences. This is a question of policy which we don't decide. Police, police is more of an executive authority, implementing whatever is available. As per the rules, we do not register any uh, FIR. Otherwise, in all criminal cases where adults are involved, we have a database in the home police station as well as where the crime was committed. Now we do not even have the data of what is the extent of juvenile criminality in an area. The law says every child who gets into crime or who is child in need of care and protection should be brought to the appropriate authorities. The challenges are many. For one, most policemen lack proper training in the juvenile justice system. Second is the need for systemic reforms. The police population ratio is inadequate. Police personnel are overworked and overburdened. The police believe juvenile crime prevention is the responsibility of other government agencies and social workers. The reality is that most adult criminals begin their criminal careers as juveniles. The system of juvenile justice is about reform. If they do not come into the system, they will not be reformed. So letting them off without doing a case diary is actually letting them off without giving them a chance for reform. Meet Saddam. He's a little over 19 years old and runs the kitchen at the Sahyog De-Addiction Center for Children in conflict with the law. The kitchen handles meals for 50 to 60 people, sometimes even more. Sir, jitne sab prakar ke nasho kar rahe sab injection, daru, beer, drugs, sara, sab kar rahe hain. Jab nasha aa gaya to crime to mere andar aa nahi tha. The gang had dropped a man and stabbed him. The man died of his injuries. Caught by the police, Saddam came into the notice of the juvenile justice system in 2005. Nips pakda gaya tha main. Isme aa gaya tha. सेवा कोटी में तीन साढ़े तीन महीने रात में उसमें ते खराब हुई मेरे को कभी सेंटर के सेंटर के बारे में कुछ नहीं पता था ना ये मेरे को ये पता था ना सेवा जोगी कोई क्लास भी लगती है जेब्टी की क्या होता है मीटिंग जाया जाता है क्या होता है मुझे कुछ नहीं पता था मुझे तो बस पता था क्राइम करते हैं हम जेल जाते हैं जेल से फिर छूट जाते हैं तारीख जाते हैं कोर्ट में मनिस्ट्रेट बैठती है तारीख देती है बस इतना पता था और कुछ नहीं पता था दिस इज वेर राजू अराइव सिक्स इयर्स अगो a 12-year-old child from Guwahati fleeing a dysfunctional family. For the next five years, he lived on the streets and off the streets as a rack picker. He got addicted to glue and graduated to serious drugs. To pay for his habit, he took to a life of crime, to thefts and to burglaries. By the time he was 17, Raju was an injecting drug user close to a physical breakdown. A year ago, he was brought before the Juvenile Justice Board in a snatching case and directed to Sayog for the three-month program of detoxification, counselling and vocational training. Here Raju learned to repair motor pumps as part of a new skill training module started in collaboration with the Tehelka Foundation, another NGO and the Kirloskar Brothers Company. If we don't address it, you know, the aggression is going to increase, the violence is going to increase, and we're all responsible for the state of things as they are. The first challenge is the socialization process and the fact that the staff at the service station would have to overcome their initial apprehensions. When I came here first day, I was scared. I was scared. Then I said, why are you scared? Why are you scared? Don't be scared. If we are standing in your heart, we will see something. So, I am scared of my heart. I am scared of my heart. Far from causing havoc and destruction, Raju and Saddam are slowly repairing their lives. 
In both cases, however, the common factor is the long and sustained intervention that they received. When they see a positive side of the life, they become much better. And from our experience, I can vouch, give them chance and invest. I'm not saying only money. Invest beyond, you know, like love, care, protection. They should have some future, some investment in their education because, you know, 10, 12 years, they did not go to school. They had no idea of vocational training. They had no idea what they will do in future. So these are the investment if the society is willing to, to invest and early prevention. Evening rush hour in Bangalore. Akshay Bandekar, an 18-year-old from Goa, is controlling the traffic to help office goers cross the street. On the other side of the street is Akshay's counterpart, dressed in a similar uniform and sash that says Echo, the name of a Bangalore-based NGO. Both are traffic police assistants and to the city's residents a godsend. Just two years ago, Akshay was a juvenile in conflict with the law. He got picked up by the police in a case of bike theft and was sent to an observation home. But four months after he was released, Akshay, accompanied by two other boys, stole again. This time, the Juvenile Justice Board, or JJB, sent him to the Echo Aftercare Home in Bangalore for six months so that he could put some distance between him and the factors causing his behaviour. Children who are from dysfunctional, abusive families or have parents who are criminals benefit from a stay in a special home. Under the orders of the Juvenile Justice Board, the stay is for a specified period. Special homes are meant to make and implement a care plan to reform the child during this period. After that period is over, ECHO's Traffic Police Assistant Program is used to reintegrate some of these children. I would like to be a traffic one. I'm proud. My parents feel happy about it. Bangalore had a lot of need of traffic police and there was a lot of junctions without police and all that. They thought, why don't we train these people into a traffic police assistant to assist police. Therefore, they can come back in uniforms back to society. About 600 boys and 50 girls who were in conflict with the law have been through this training process. It is a unique effort to make them feel a part of society. But it is not a permanent job. Many of the children continue with their education and graduate to other jobs, while some even start their own businesses. Madesh, who was gifted academically, was helped by ECHO to enroll in the prestigious Christ College in the city. He is a student of PCOM first year. Madesh tells me he was 10 years old when he started stealing from construction sites. He was picked up by the police and kept in an observation home. His father was incapable of helping him, but Echo came to his aid. Suppose you had not been caught by the police. What do you think you would have been today? Um, it will be big, I think big uh, robber or some, I will become killer. It seems.